Chase ice cream. What is it? What are you doing? Nothing. Show me your iPad. I have a video I want to show you. What is it? It's Uncle Roger review Great British Bake Off Japanese Week. Uncle Roger. Just watch it. Okay. Danish. Uncle Roger so impressed at this TV show. Last time I saw someone pack things up this fast, it's when Auntie Helen left me. <laughs> Hello, niece and nephew. It's Uncle Roger. Today, Uncle Roger gonna review more British people making Asian food because when British people make Asian food, always funny. <laughs> that is show on TV called Great British Bake Off. Very popular show. Is this one on Netflix? I don't know. I I'm sure it is on Netflix. Let me look it up. Don't you remember you don't have Netflix? So many people watch and recently they had one week called Japanese Week. Uncle Japanese Roger, week. not Japanese, but I like Japanese food and Japanese whiskey also. Oh my god, Uncle Roger loves Japanese food. He said he likes. British baker know about Japanese food? Let's see. Let's see. Niece and nephew, before we start, I want you to smack like button. What do you think he's gonna say this time? Um, smack like button, like, like, how you smack your What the f is wrong with you? You're right. <sighs> I'll cut this part. Smack like button, like a parent smack remote control when battery runs out. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. <laughs> Look at that. There's too many raspberry on the cake. Hello, or should I say, konnichiwa, because for the first time He looks kind of creepy. He's too white. It's Japanese week. This baking show look good. I like her. What? Look at her. That little smirk. She looks so sexy. Is she your type? No, I like sweaty girls. Uncle Roger have high hope for this. The set of this show, so pretty. The fridge color match the blender color. Asian household, we want fridge, we buy the cheapest fridge. We want blender, <laughs> we buy the cheapest blender. We don't care about color. Money don't go on tree, don't waste money like that. We're all very excited and the judges today would love you to make a batch of eight soft, delicious steamed buns. Steamed bun? <laughs> Uncle Roger loves steamed bun, but I think steamed bun is more Chinese, Chinese than <laughs> Japanese. Many Asian cultures Why is it Japanese bun week? <laughs> because bun is our version of sandwich. Uncle Roger is right. We just had steamed buns this morning. Yeah. In Japan, at convenience store, we have nikumang, amang, karemang, pizamang, chokomang, and a lot more. But I still don't like sandwich. Sandwich is just <laughs> two slices of bread. When you eat sandwich, shit fall out so easily. <laughs> Not with bun. Bun is like sandwich, but better design. Shit don't fall shit out. Don't Japanese fall out. buns are usually filled with pork or curry, but you can choose any filling you like. No, what would you fill your... Uncle Roger loved this duo. This guy no hair. This guy has too much hair. Why don't you donate some of your hair to the bald guy? Hi, uh, so stingy with your hair. Also, what is he wearing? What is he wearing? You on national TV, why are you wearing shirt that look like anime porn? Hi, uh, so dirty. Uncle Roger, family friendly channel. We are family friendly too. You always say that, but uh, we're really not. Maybe I should blow out his shirt every <laughs> time I show him. You have two hours and 30 minutes. On your mark, get set, and bake. I'm feeling good about Japanese week. Plan is they're gonna look like little chickens. Naturally adding color to his buns with turmeric, Dave will then be filling them with his favorite meal, the katsu curry. Katsu curry. Katsu curry, no, 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 this is not katsu curry. <laughs> You're using minced chicken best. Katsu curry, the chicken need to be breaded. That's what katsu mean, breaded. Katsu curry sauce? What do you mean? Katsu curry is curry with katsu on top and katsu is pork cutlet, like this. I think this guy meant curry or the TV show has a lack of knowledge about Japanese food. You can't just whack any chicken in any curry and call it katsu curry. Hi, uh, <laughs> this is chicken curry, not katsu curry. Dave's won't be the only buns to be making an animal-like appearance. So I'm gonna make them look like little pandas. Panda! Them look like little pandas. Panda is Chinese. 
Not Japanese. Is that a panda? I can draw better than that. The lamb itself is going to be raw, and that's going to be steamed in with the bun. And I've got garlic, ginger, chili, coriander, fish sauce, soy sauce, honey, cumin. Coriander, fish sauce, honey, cumin. None of those are Japanese. Why are you using fish sauce for Japanese week? Fish sauce is from Thailand. I love Nampura. No one asked. What is happening here? I thought this is Japanese week. Where the Japanese stuff? Where the Japanese stuff? <laughs> I'm going to be making my wee buns into wee lambs. So this guy want to make his bun look like lamb. And then he put lamb meat inside his lamb bun. This is so creepy. You make the bun look like cute version of animal. And then inside the bun, you stuff the dead version of animal. Why are these people so psycho? Uncle Roger loves eating crispy pork, but I don't stuff crispy pork into a cute pig bun. If you want to eat meat, just eat the meat. Don't try to make that animal cute. The timing of the prove is vital with this soft dough. Under prove and it will split. I would like it. Oh, you see? You see? In TV show, they cannot show the brand unless the brand is sponsoring your show. So they use tape to cover up the brand. But hardcore Asian people, we all know, this is Lee Kam Ki oyster sauce. I didn't know the name of it, but I've seen this a lot. But Lee Kam Ki, not Japanese. Hi, uh, they got it wrong again. <laughs> After I've colored this dough and get it into proving, then it's on to making the filling. It's more Chinese inspired than it is Japanese inspired. <laughs> oh, he knows Why he fucked Japanese up, <laughs> but he still do. <laughs> he knows he fucked up. <laughs> Across the border from China lie the flavors of India. Mark will be coloring and flavoring his dough with smoked paprika to complement his two Indian flavors of mango chutney and apple sweetened lentil dal. <laughs> Across the border. <laughs> Not only did they think Chinese <laughs> is Japanese, now they think Indian is Japanese also. Hi, uh, how many countries does Japan have? <laughs> I don't know if this is called Asian fusion or Asian don't know what they're doing. I understand. I'm not offended. Because I live in California and there are a lot of Hispanic people from different places like Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador. To me, they all look the same, just like how you guys call me Chino, meaning Chinese in Spanish. So I understand why British people can't tell the difference between Chinese, Japanese, Indian. Two of the bakers are doing their twist on the all-time classic meat in a bun. So I'm doing a uh, burger buns. Oh, wait. Burger bun. <laughs> burger bun? Oh my god. How many more country are you gonna do in Japanese week? Now America in Japan also. <laughs> Instead of calling this Japan week, why don't we call this put random shit in bun week? <laughs> My burgers are way better than Lottie's. Burger off, Lottie. You burger off. Burger off. Hmm. This is so punny. Bitty people. <laughs> this is so funny. I thought <laughs> wang your egg in was bad enough. This is height of heat. Humor. So funny. Uncle Roger dying laughing. I did now. Are you doing any gherkin? Yeah. Oh, Paul will be delighted. Can you do one without a gherkin for me? Yeah, maybe. Thank you. He hates gherkin. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really hates it. Yeah. I don't know why this guy hates gherkin so much. Because he dressed like a gherkin. <laughs> Competition stepped up. But Mark's not doing chips, so... Chips? Did they ask for chips? Who doesn't want chips, mate? She sounds sexy too. This is Japanese week. You serving Japanese bun. Uncle Roger don't want chips, mate. Me. You doing steamed chips? Yeah, I'm doing steamed chips, yeah. <laughs> Ooh! Did Uncle Roger see what I just see? You doing steamed chips? Yeah, I'm doing steamed chips, yeah. <laughs> Uncle Roger sent some chemistry between these two people. <laughs> Uncle Roger loved to see relationship develop in this kind of show. So cute. I hope they fall in love, get married, have children. And the children ask them, Dad, how did you meet Mom? And he go, I met your mom on cooking show. When I saw her fuck up Japanese, <laughs> that's what I mean. She's the one. Here I am having fun this week. I just like it being a bit different. Yeah, exactly. Cakes are boring. <laughs> Let's both say that into the camera. Cakes, Cakes are boring. boring. Okay. 
I like this woman. She go on Great British Bake Off and insult cake. <laughs> oh my god. That is like Uncle Roger working at Singaporean restaurant and insulting Singaporean food. This restaurant is based on a Singaporean kopitiam. Uncle Roger think Malaysian food better. I think she has bright future in restaurant business. OK, bakers, your time is up. Please step away from your delicious buns. It's time for the baker's steamed buns to face the judgment. Uncle Roger so impressed at this TV show, not because their food is good, but because they've cleaned up so fast. Look at this. This table is now so empty. Just one minute ago, this table full of all their cooking utensils. Last time I saw someone pack things up this fast, it's when Auntie Helen left me. When a woman wants to leave you, they pack shit up faster than professional move. <laughs> Uncle Roger, see how fast Auntie Helen packed? It make me go for you and higher at the same time. <laughs> Hiya, look at this bun. Why this bun so ugly? This one look like it got lupus. This one look like it got eczema. And this one, did you use this pick to wipe your ass? Why so ugly? It's very neat, very bold, well shaped, nice and shiny, smooth. What? Oh, what? The feeling? Look at that. Look at that. This bun is like 99% bun, just 1% feeling. You might as well don't put feeling in that. If Uncle Roger go buy steam bun and you give me feeling like this, I think you're trying to rip It's horrible. Off. I love the chicken. I think the texture's great. Either I needed a bit more filling or a yeah. bit strong. See, what I tell you, too little feeling. This red glasses lady is correct. I like this lady. She's so fashion. Glasses color match her shirt match her cardigan. She looked like giant lady, but... They all seem pretty similar in size. A little bit of decoration is quite nice. That looks like a burger, doesn't it? It does. Bacon, cheese, burger, and red. You might as well make burger. Why bother making bun? I uh, trying to trick people. If Uncle Roger buy bun and I find burger inside, I will be so angry. I will complain to your manager, to your mom, to your dad, <laughs> to your grandma. Tell them you lying to Uncle Roger. It's like having a burger, mm. a dry burger. <laughs> no dry. Oh my God! Look at her smile. Isn't she beautiful? You know, I said she looks sexy. She sounds sexy. And she's got Michelle Rodriguez kind of vibe. But this smile, I mean, rub. This green shirt gherkin guy, he hate gherkin. So she didn't make you gherkin. And now you complain it dry. These are the type of customers <laughs> Uncle Roger love to yell at when they come to the shop. When we put food together, it's the best combination. If you request for don't want this, don't want that, and then you complain the food not as good, Uncle Roger say, fuck this. <laughs> This show is cute. Uncle Roger likes certain parts, but I don't know why they want to call this Japanese week. The only thing that looked Japanese was that guy's shirt. It's like <laughs> these contestants, they all too British. They try to take Chinese takeaway food, put it in Japanese bun. So weird. So weird. Because Japanese people, so many good desserts, they can make mochi. Mochi with red bean, so delicious. Uncle Roger liked. At least this British show trying to branch out Great British Bake Off people. Why don't you hire one Japanese guy to be your <laughs> guest judge? I want to be the judge. I'll volunteer for the job. Please, message me. Just one. You cannot find one Japanese person in UK. They like to work so much, you don't even have to pay them. Niece and nephew, what do you think of <laughs> He knew what I was thinking. If you want to see Uncle Roger on Great British Bake Off, tweet at Great British Bake Off. Tell them Uncle Roger want to be the judge for the egg fire rice week. This video, not as bad as the BBC food video. Not as bad as Jamie Oliver. But the great British Bake Off people seem to think China, India, Japan, all the same country. Next time, you should just call this Asian week so simple. Then everything you do in this show become correct. Niece and nephew, subscribe to Uncle Roger channel. Next week video, Uncle Roger gonna work at Bubble tea shop, gonna yell at customer again. Gonna be good video. See you next Sunday. Bye bye. How was it? I think they misspelled Chinese for Japanese.